Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is Dick. What are we doing? Doing a little ice fishing. We're out on Lake 16 in Lake Orion, one of my favorite little lakes, and we're doing a little bit of ice fishing. We finally, after being out here all morning, saw some fish swim by early in the afternoon. So we figured we'd start an episode, maybe in hopes we'll get some fish. You feeling hopeful? I'm feeling hopeful. Let's see if we can get lucky. Thanks for joining us, guys. Big tip, get an insulated bucket for your bait to keep it from freezing on ice. Dick and I are just getting a line of holes going so we can jig around a little bit. You can see Dick up there, getting the holes ready. And I was getting our bait ready, and I looked up and noticed that one of our flags and our tip-ups went, so we're gonna go check on it. It's hard to tell from here, but there's our shanty. A line of tip-ups going that way. One of the ones in the middle has a flag up. There's our flag waving in the wind. It doesn't look like any line's been taken out. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a check anyway, but I think that was just a wind set. Well, crap, there we are. Empty hook. Huh. He thinks we might wanna hook our minnows better. That's okay, we're gonna go ahead and get that tip up back down real quick and see if some of those other ones in the set can't get us going. Uh, until then, you know, we're gonna head back to Dick and jig around those new holes we just drilled. We just got this gorgeous run of tip ups, so got about 10 holes to choose from in this run. We just bounce our four Celsius tip ups between them. a jig, 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 a jig, jig, jig. What you doing, Dick? Jig, jig, jig. Just, yeah, he's just trying to get anything down there to do anything. Without a fancy flash or fish finder, we're just kind of drilling lots of holes and jigging around. So far, it hasn't worked out for us, but we are always hopeful and we always like spending a day on the ice, so. A jig, jig, jig. Think you got something there, Drew? Oh, I see him. He's not big, but... Ooh! Uh, That's definitely something. Look at that pretty little perch. I don't care if he's small. He's gorgeous considering we haven't seen anything all day. That's the biggest fish we've seen all day. So we're going to go ahead and put this one back probably. To get this bigger. All right. So we're going to release our buddy back. to what I did is I just put a chunk of a minnow on there. Hmm. Because, you know, the, the fish seem to be scared of the big minnow. Okay. So I think that's what we're going to change our game plan to and see if we can't catch more of those little perch. Now refreshed with a new little chunk of minnow. We're going to stick it back down the hole and see if we can do it again. All right. Dick's tired and his back is hurting. So he's jigging from a prone position. Just as I laughed at him about that, I noticed another tip-up flag went off. So we're gonna go check out that tip-up flag. Ah, beautiful flag, just a-waving in the wind. Let's see if anyone is home. Well, the minnow was still there. It had a lot of line out, so I'm guessing the minnow just pulled the drag. So I tightened the drag and reset it. I think we're gonna go back and get Dick up off the ice. So he doesn't catch a cold. Sam would be up distraught. Uh, while I'm out there, I might drill the holes for where we're going to move the shanty for the evening. We'll see. The hardest part is getting the 
frozen minnows to go down because we're almost out of minnows that still swim. Then I'll just set that flag and we're good to go. One, two, three, four. And then we're each allowed a pull to jig with in the shanty. Boy howdy, it's windy and cold. Let's get that shanty set up, eh? Dick tip. Clean hole is a good hole. That's clean hole. <laughs> so there we've got our two sight fishing holes for jigging in and the hole in the middle for the light and the camera because as it gets darker we're going to switch to our night fishing techniques before we go in. And this is where we're going to set up for the evening. Moved from about over yonder all the way over here most of the way across the lake where we have actually physically made contact with the fish. Yeah. We got our tip up set up already so they're working for us and we're just going to go ahead and get the shanty and heater and everything set up. So we can have a good old evening of it. Night fishing. Night fishing. Boop. So that's the shanty set up ready to go. Just emptying the sled into it. And we have a hole on each side of it. And then our tip up set line. Good to go. I'm going to crawl inside, start the heater, probably eat some snacks and jig around a little. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Here we are all set up. We're fishing. We're actually so warm we're trying to unbib a little bit here. We are in probably about 15 feet of water which is where we were told we probably want to be. The wind is pounding. Oh yeah. We got two tie downs in this time around. It's okay we're just sitting here jigging around little pieces of minnow trying to trying to make it work. So far not really. But we're trying. Dick's rod tips moving. I'm trying to get anything on film I can right now. You got some. You do. Oh, hey. another little perch. Oh it's, uh... oh, it's twice as big as mine. Look at you, big fish on the day. Oh, please don't. Nah. That's a real quick field the table there. Yeah, field the table. Look at that. Look at that perch. It's pretty. Uh, if it were a little bigger, I'd say let's keep them and start stacking them. But it's still kind of small. So... I'm gonna take the... Yeah, that little guy can... Oh, you want me to just hold it? Yeah. Okay. Take the hook out. And then we're gonna put this little guy back in the hole. Bye, friend. Hope you like that piece of minnow. And there he goes. Pieces of minnows is the way to go. You were... I don't think you were on the bottom. I think you were only like five, ten feet down. Could be. Could be. I think I'm going to bring my lure up a little bit and we're going to see if we can't catch more of those mid-range perch. Good job, Dick. Thanks. We've both caught fish. Hooray. Two fish so far. Dick tip. Be sure of your footing when walking around on ice because it definitely hurts to fall. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, the sun's starting to go down after those two little perch and the couple no homes at the tip up we've just been you know just kind of hanging out been having a good time and a wild Sam appeared Sam showed up she got done with work so she came out to hang out uh, we're stepping out to enjoy the sunset real quick. It is gorgeous, as most sunsets are on Lake 16. And I'm going to jig around these holes we made around the outside of the shanty. Because after we set up and Dick got the one perch, we haven't seen anything. And I want to see if I can stir something up. Dick and I managed to jig around all four holes around the shanty and check the tip ups but it is frigid out there yeah. it's gotta feel like below zero it is really cold so now we're just curled up by the heater enjoying everyone's company and 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 trying to catch the fishies this is our green light that we're going to put down and we put it down in the hole to attract the plankton to attract the bait fish and it is waterproof and it sinks and it makes the shanty look super cool because it makes the ground glow green. I'm going to drop that all the way down. I think it goes about 15 feet down. And then we're going to, you know, slowly raise it up as plankton comes at it to try and draw fish up from the bottom. 
Drew, you got the yeah, camera? Yeah, I do. Oh, I got another one. Hey. Oh, it's even bigger than your last one. Yeah, it's cool. look how big that guy is. Oh, Woo. look at that. That's three. We caught three little perch. All right, good job, Richard. Teamwork. Teamwork. The lights what did it. Well, so far he's wrapped his foot around the string. Oh, excellent. So <laughs> I just bring the hook right into the bottom. Because generally the hook won't go through the hole. We're just packing everything up. Sam took off. She stopped in just long enough to drop us some sandwiches, watch her husband catch a fish, and then hang out in ski -daddle. It's always good hanging out. But right now we're just going to pack up and head home. We caught a few fish, played with our tip-ups, got to hang out together on the ice. Did you have a good day, Dick? Yeah, it was a pretty good day. I got two fish, so... You did. Uh, you know, we're going to go out some more this weekend, maybe film some more adventures, see if we can get some more fish in. Yeah. You know, as always, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up, click subscribe, subscribe. down there somewhere. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.